What is up, heroes? It's Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. In the last episode, we, we jumped around actually a few timelines, despite it being a shorter episode. In this episode, we are going to investigate the lounge and see if we can escape. I'm actually very much looking forward to this puzzle segment. It looks like there's a lot we can interact with right off the bat, so where do we want to start? Let's, let's head over to the bar. Huh, so it looks like there's a sign that's indicating garbage is disposed of here. The countertop, yes. Um, so we throw liquid garbage into this drain. What's this thing? Some kind of sink? Ah, clever. If you get wasted, you can just puke into here. <laughs> That's not what it's for. There's an icon on the counter above it. Huh. I guess it's a drain. You pour leftover drinks down it. Well, that'll certainly be important later on, I'm sure. What do we have up here? What the heck is this? A uh, helmet? <laughs> How on earth does this look like a helmet? Well, if it's not a helmet, what is it? Maybe it's a bread maker or one of those automatic cat feeders? <laughs> That's really funny. What? So it looks like it, it makes a particular drink. A button. Nothing happens when I push it. For now. Alright, anything else we can look at here? Let's take a look at these glasses. So we have an empty martini glass. A glass. Do you think it could be a cocktail glass? There's nothing in it. Oh yeah, I guess it is a cocktail glass. Maybe. It reminded me more of like a martini glass. I don't actually drink, so... <laughs> Not too savvy on these sorts of things. But we're able to get a few of them, right? Two needles. Two needles. They look like... almost like kunai. <laughs> They're long, thin, pointy pieces of metal. Are they needles of some kind? Why are there two of them? Yeah, that's pretty curious. Alright, so we have three empty glasses. Can we take the coasters? Coasters, huh? Yeah, this is where the booze goes. You mean, this is where the glass that the alcohol is in goes, right? Details, details. Nobody's gonna try and pick you up if you keep being so anal. What? I don't think you can pick them up. Huh? These coasters. They're attached to the counter somehow. That's an odd thing to do with a coaster. Mm-hmm. So why? Who knows? Maybe they're part of a puzzle? Yeah, almost certainly. I would bet that we have to fill the martini glasses, or the glasses, with some sort of drink and then order them in a particular manner. That's gonna light up this screen, which is gonna show us a password. I wonder what this screen is for. It doesn't look like it's turned on. Can you see a switch? No, nothing. Alright, anything in the background? Any of these drinks we can interact with? Let's see. Okay, yeah, we can. We just had to shift things. So, red liquor... Um, what a powerful shade of red. It feels so passionate. Maybe this would be good for trying to woo a girl. Want to try some, Luna? Oh, Sigma, moving right in on Luna. Hey, I see what you're trying to do. <laughs> Alright, so then we've got yellow. That's a really bright yellow. Some animals use yellow as a warning to predators, so maybe this is a warning to us to stay alert. And then we've got white here. This one is white. White always makes me think of wedding dresses. I'd like to wear one someday. That means you're single, right? <laughs> Sigma, making moves. Your face is scaring me. Classic Sigma. Alright, green. A green one. You know, my favorite color is green. Just looking at it makes me feel happy and calm. Oh, that's nice. Blue. This liquor is blue. I think it matches you, Sigma. <laughs> Why is that? Well, you're wearing blue. That's pretty straightforward. So clearly, I'm, I'm sure we can pour these and mix them into certain colors. Bottle of alcohol. Wow, so we're picking up... <laughs> Look at our inventory, guys. Sun alcohol, huh? Maybe that means the alcohol content is so high it'll burst into flame into sunlight. <laughs> Drool. It looks good. Fine. Fine, the, the closet alcoholic. Don't drink it! Then this is moon? Alcohol of the moon? It makes me think of Japanese sake for some reason. Drool. It also makes me want to drink it. Don't drink it! <laughs> we might need it for puzzles, Fi. This one is island. Island alcohol. I wonder if it comes from an island. Drool again. How interesting. Don't drink it! Fi just drooling over all the alcohol. I wonder what ocean alcohol would taste like. I hope it's not salty. Drool. <laughs> now I want to try it. The face she makes when she does the whole drool animation is hilarious. 
Planet Alcohol. That's a pretty weird name. Drool. <laughs> Look at that little sus smirk she has. But with our powers combined. Don't drink it. Okay, so we have, what, Planet, Ocean, Island, Moon, and Sun. And then all of these, all, all these liquors are different colors and they're all sunshine. Wow. What about these on the right hand side? There are a lot of bottles here. How would you like to have a drink with me? Sigma, again, just right, going right after it. No, no hesitation. Huh? Oh, um... You really think this is a good time to be making a pass at someone? She's getting all nervous now. Ah, ha, 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 Um, what about any of these? Bunch of bottles of alcohol? No, so we can't... I don't think we can take any of them. Okay. Well, that's good to know, I guess. So... There'll probably be some other aspect of the room that gives us an indication of what order to actually pour the different, you know, drinks in. There are glasses up here, a glass rack, there are several cocktail glasses suspended from it. What about up here? A lighting fixture with a cover on it? There doesn't seem to be anything strange about it. Okay, so I think... Oops. Um, there's a small LCD screen on the corner of the counter, yada yada yada. Uh, what I wanted to do was actually rotate around. There we go. Alright, let's look at this section over here. What is this? Mysterious disc. What's this thing? Some kind of top? It's got these cones in the center. Yes, but look at the edges. It looks like part of a map. Could this be part of the Earth? If it's a map... Huh. Northern Hemisphere. Okay. So we're trying to reconstruct a map here, I guess? And use it on this globe thing? A table. Kind of rusty, I guess. Yes, it seems like a perfectly normal table. Ah! What's wrong? I thought I saw a face in the stains and I... I got scared. Oh, Luna. Is that something? A circular table? No. Alright, well I think that covers most of what we can interact with there. What's all this though? There's some letters on the wall. Some of them are black and some are red. R L R L O E D I I M L I O O N R O N E N Interesting. So I would bet that that's some sort of color order in there? Is this some kind of code? Yeah, don't tell me I'm gonna have to like read it though. Some of them are red and some of them are black. So, ugh, am I gonna have to write this? There's my faulty mental math from before. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. The red ones are L L O I I L I O N N. Um, I mean, I see lion in there, obviously, but other than that, I don't see a whole lot. In the black letters, I mean, we have R R E D M O R O N E. So obviously I see red in there, but I'm not 100% sure, honestly, what those letters are for just yet. So we'll probably investigate them later on, when we maybe have more indication. The RLRL in the beginning made me th think it was maybe like right, left, right, left or something, but... Where are you going? That's the door we came through. I mean, sure, we could go back up <laughs> out in the hallway, but everything out there is locked up tight. We can't get back to the warehouse. Yeah, I know. So... This safe is just like the one I saw in the AB room. Yeah, Sigma and I saw one just like it. So do you think it opens the same way? Try and find out. Um, I'm sure it does. So, no good. Can't do it. Alright, anything else to inspect over here? Actually, oh wait, there are these, uh, you know, areas down here. So we have the Southern Hemisphere. We're still missing... Two... Well, no, I mean, a Hemisphere makes me think... We should be good now, but... What's this? A note? It looks like a page from a journal. You have found a fragment of a bartender's diary. You can read it in the archive. Bartender's journal. Three customers came in today. A couple and their son. The father sat in the center 
Okay, so this is ordering the martini, the cocktail glasses, <laughs> I'm sure. The, the father sat in the center, the mother on the left, and the son on the right. When I came to take their order, they said the following. Father, my wife likes... Oh, it's... <laughs> One of them was a liar. Yeah, I knew this was going to be like a liar and truth teller type uh, problem. Okay. So, Father, my wife likes the color red and I like white. My son has always liked the ocean. The mother says, my son has loved the color blue ever since he was a child. My husband likes island and I like planet. Son says, my mother and I like moon. My father likes anything green. Okay. So obviously they're all kind of, contra well, not, not necessarily, but a lot of them, there are some contradictions here. And so if one of them is a liar, then we have to say, what if a particular person is a liar? Would that lead to any sort of um, contradictions? And so what does the father assert? The father says, my wife likes the color red and I like white. My son has always liked ocean. If he were lying, what would that mean? That would mean that the wife does not like red. Uh, which one is planet? Is planet red? I don't think it was. Um, I've got to go all the way back to check. So planet is purple slash blue. So I think that actually checks out. Um, We'll go back to the archive and take a look. But, yeah, so if the father were lying, it would be a false statement, you know, wife likes the color red, and that he does, and so then he does not like white, and the son does not like ocean. Let's see what the son has to say. My mother and I like moon, which is consistent if the father is lying. Um... And then my father likes anything green, which is also consistent if the father is lying. Let's look at the mother. My son has loved the color blue um, ever since he was a child. So the question is, if the son is telling the truth and the mother are telling the truth, is there a contradiction um, by the son liking moon? What color was moon again? Let's go take a look. So moon is yellow. So that's problematic, right? Because if we assume that the father is lying, well, then the mother and son must be telling the truth. If the mother is telling the truth and says the son has loved the color blue, but the son says my mother and I like moon and moon is not blue, then we've got a problem. And if that's the case, the father must not be lying. So then we say, all right, what if the mother is lying and the father and son are telling the truth? Does that lead to any contradictions, right? Um, what can we immediately sort of assess? Well, the father says, I like white, and the the son says, my father likes anything green. <laughs> so that would immediately lead to a contradiction. So I don't think we can say the mother is lying. And I think that's going to leave us with the son is lying. But let's check to see if there are any contradictions from what other people say. So if the father and mother are telling the truth, the wife likes red. And let's see, the mother says she likes planet. Let's see what color planet is. <sighs> so, planet is not red. Um, so this is pretty problematic, right? <laughs> uh, if the son is lying, I mean, the father says, my wife likes the color red, and I like white. And then the mother says... My husband likes island, which is not white. And I like planet, which is not red. So this didn't work out as I expected. <laughs> um, I think it might be helpful real quick if I go to my memo and just note which of these is which. So planet is... Um, Bottle of alcohol, the label says planet. Oh, it's it's not going to tell me, like... So this is obviously, like, a blue. This is also a blue. Sunshine is a green. None of these are white. Right? That's kind of odd. How can... Um, this is where we're trying to go. If the father likes white... 
What would that... Hmm. I'm curious. I think I'm missing something. And I think it's related to how the drinks are created. I think you probably have to mix one of the liqueurs or like liquors with the the alcohol. Um, you have to mix the bottle of alcohol with one of the liqueurs. I don't know if I should be pronouncing that like liqueur or whatever, <laughs> but I think that's what's going on here. Let me have let me see what happens if I try to combine this with a glass. Oops, <laughs> pick like the one thing I can't combine it with. You cannot combine these items. Huh, okay, what happens if I combine it with like this? You cannot combine these items. Oh wait, but this is another liquor. So, what about this? Uh, one of the bottles of alcohol. You cannot combine these items. Interesting. So, I, I think I'm, yeah, I'm, I don't think I have all the information I need right now. Let's see here, what happens if I use a bottle of alcohol on one of the glasses. I can't combine these items. Okay. Um, so we'll, we'll come back to this in a minute. I think I might need to place the cocktail glasses down and then I can pour into them. I think that's what's going on, but we'll, we'll take. Northern Hemi Hemisphere. Have I just not noted? This? I haven't noticed the second Hemi. <laughs> that's funny, okay. Um, anything behind these pillows? Huh? There's something behind this cushion. Exactly. Astronomy Today. Is this a magazine? What is it about? Looks like astronomy. We found an astronomy magazine. What's that going to tell us? A magazine about, of all things, astronomy. <laughs> this issue appears to be about lunar eclipses. This article says a lengthy lunar eclipse will occur at 4.50 p.m. UT on December 31st, 2028. Okay. In other words, at 4.50 p.m. you can see a total lunar eclipse. Wait a minute. 4.50 p.m.? Um, so I'm gonna write this down. 4.50 p.m. Which is 16.50 in, like, military time. And it's a total lunar eclipse on the 31st in the year 2028. Um, I'm not 100% sure how it's pertinent yet, but we'll see, I'm sure. Anything behind the other uh, cushions? Ah. Achoo! <laughs> Bye, sneezes. Hey, come on, that was a real sneeze. It was dusty. Anything behind this cushion? Nope. Okay. An old-fashioned leather sofa. Uh, that's probably all we were supposed to find here. We'll see, though. Is this a... Uh... Huh. This thing looks weird. Is it supposed to be the sun or something? There are 12 words on it. They're arranged kind of like the spokes on a wheel. Let's see here. Red, white, blue. I mean, it's the colors of the different liquors, liqueurs, and uh, bottles of alcohol. And I'm sure this is where we place our needles, but... Hmm. Yellow, earth, sun, planet. Huh? So let's see if we can use our needles on this. Because I'm sure that, that'll direct us. It looks like a clock, but it doesn't have any hands. Do you think those needles you found might go on there? Let's see. There we go. Okay. So then I think the next thing we need to do... Um, I put the hands on the clock when nothing's happening. What if you move them, exactly? Move them where? I don't know, experiment. All right, let's give it a try then. So now we can say, oh, what would be 450? Uh, so we'll move one of the hands. Oh, so this is the minute hand that I have currently. So three and then four and then 50 would be here. So green and sun. Okay, we, we checked it. I don't know what checking it does, but how about 450? Uh, I was thinking more like tree fitty. <laughs> that puts the short hand at green and the long hand at sun. A green sun. What? Whoa. There's a beam of light coming out of the center of the clock. That's pretty impressive. Okay, the real question is, where is it going to? Right here. What's that? Oh, but it's going through the uh, the globe thing. So it's going to illuminate probably a part of that. And I feel like that changes or uh, finishes up looking at everything in the room. We are missing a hemi-hemisphere, but that's okay for now. 
we'll add what we have and see what happens. Curved piece of metal shaped like a bow. The beam of light would be perpendicular to the string if the bow was strung. Can we can we add the hemispheres? Oh, you know what? I probably have to combine these all together. You can't combine these items. Excuse me, do we have to put them on this? This isn't working. I guess I can't combine the disc in a single hemi-hemisphere. Okay, so that's the, the key there. So I need to combine the pairs of hemi-hemispheres, and then I can combine those with the disc that we have. So northern hemisphere with disc, and we're missing one of the southern hemi-hemispheres. So, where are we gonna find that? Well, a metal sheet that looks kind of like a door, it's been bolted to the wall. Can I do anything with that? No? I don't think so. Where could we find it, is the question. Um, let's, let's place our glasses on here. Because that other one, I think it said green and sun, yeah, right? Oh, do we only have two? No, we, ha we do have, uh, we have three. So the coasters appear to be attached to the table somehow, they're probably part of a puzzle but I can't use that with it. Interesting. So this cocktail maker or something is probably where I do all the mixing. So something happens when I push the button. I wonder what this Y means. <laughs> um, let's see if I can use some of the alcohol here. So we probably put the green and sun together and um, the cocktail glass I just set down, it's empty. Can I, can I add alcohol to it? Something happens when I push the button. I wonder what this Y means. How do I pour this drink into anything? I just want to pour the drink in. There we go. I had to click on something. I had to click on the machine, but not the glass or the button. Okay, so planet, or that was sun, right? And so now we go with green. So this is how it works. I'm, I'm clearly not a bar aficionado. And then I'm sure we pour this drink down the drain and that'll open something up. The glass is full of liquid now. It looks like we've made a cocktail. It does. So let's take it back. Green sun. Um, let's see if we can pour that out here. So this is a drain for throwing away leftover drinks, huh? Yes, I think so. I'll toss this cocktail then. No, why waste it? Drink the thing. I'd like to, but what if it's poisoned? Oh, fie. See, I think it's better if I just pitch it. There it goes. Well, now I have an empty glass again. Okay, did that do anything? No? I don't think it's a coincidence that Green Sun was the, you know, set of hands that we needed to use. So it looks like we are gonna have to figure this out. Um, but we've also confirmed that yes, we do require combining a, a liquor and a bottle of alcohol in order to make a drink. So, for example, the father saying that he likes white really only refers to liquor, but doesn't have anything, doesn't, we can't be used to contradict whatever bottle of alcohol he likes. So that's kind of why we were having a tough time earlier. So let's take a look at this again. The father, let's say the father and mother are telling the truth. Wife likes the color red. So maybe that refers to the liquor. What does the mother say about herself? Um, that she likes planet. So. Tentatively, we're gonna say that the mother likes red and planet. Making this tougher for me to read in the future, but that's okay. What does the father say? The father likes white. I'm just gonna do that. And what does the mother say about the father's like island? Okay. And so we we're not really cross-referencing the, um, the drinks against each other at the moment, but then we don't really know what the sun says, right? Or if the sun is the liar, we don't really know, or no, what would the sun be in this case? We can just defer it from, or infer it from it, whatever, what the other two people say. Sun has always liked ocean, and then, um, blue. So blue and ocean. Okay, and so this is if the sun is the liar. Okay, now I don't think we can really use this to contradict each other. 
I guess maybe we're supposed to look for one combination that has a green sun in it. That might be the case. And if that's the case, actually, um, the sun must be telling the truth. Because the father would like sun. Because um, if the son says the father likes anything green, it's, then the mother says that the husband likes the island, though. Right? So, all right. So if the father is lying, then what? Well, we can see what the mom likes from what she says. The mother says that she likes planet, like usual. But what does the son say about what the mother likes? Um, moon. Okay, so that's a problem. Right? So, now we have a contradiction because they're talking about the same, I guess, like, class, the bottle of alcohol, and they're both claiming that the mother likes something separate. The mother says that she likes planet, and the son says that she likes moon. So the father cannot be a liar. So what about the mother? What about in that case? If the mother is lying, then um, what do the father and son say about the mother's prefer preferences? So red, and then what does the son say? Moon, okay. And then the father would like, well, we would have to infer, um, or no, the mother is lying, so we're not really paying attention to what she says right now, but the father says white and the son says green. So that's a contradiction because, again, it's the same class of things that they're making assertment of, um, an assertion about. And so this can't be the case either. So the son must be the liar. And these results on the left must be the combination of drinks. And now we need to create those drinks and put them in the arrangement I have labeled at the top. Whew, okay. So yeah, we, we tried looking at it before, but we couldn't quite figure it out until we understood how the drinks were actually made. Maybe that's more intuitive to other people, but um, I'm glad we eventually figured it out. So the first one we're gonna wanna make is red and planet. So I'm gonna take these back. <laughs> All right, so they're not gonna let me uh, take it back unless I have an empty inventory, but that's okay. So first one is going to be planet, all right, and then red. Apologies for the clicking, but it's just a lot easier for the inventory management than using my uh, my touchpad. <laughs> Wait, hold on. If you push that now, everything's going to get soaked in water. Well, soaked in alcohol, I guess. My bad. Um, okay, so we'll place the glass. I thought Five was going to get all upset at us for like potentially wasting or spilling the alcohol. All right, so we've created the red planet drink. Lovely. Now we can take this back. And the next drink we are going to make is, let's check, White Island, okay. Sun, um, this is island, so we'll place that, and then the white liquor, and our second empty glass, okay, let's do that. Lovely, we'll take that, take this back, and then we'll take the other one back, and we have one last drink to make. What is that drink going to be? It's going to be Blue Ocean. Most fitting, probably. So, let's see here. Ocean here, and then we're gonna go with Blue over here. Cool one last empty glass, and then we just have to order them appropriately. And that, honestly, given that it's hooked up to that screen, I feel like that's gonna give us a password, which is honestly not what I'm really looking for at the moment. I'm looking for that last hemi-hemisphere, but I guess that's okay. We'll, we'll work through it. So, what was the order again? It was mother, father, son. So it's gonna go white, blue, or no, wow. <laughs> Already throwing it off. Um, it's gonna be red, white, and blue. Okay, so, well, I've got the blue here. We can just place that there. Huh? Hey, this thing lit up. 
Yeah, it looks like it's made to light up when you put a cocktail on it. Let's try putting on or putting on some on other coasters. So white's gonna go in the middle, so we'll do that. And then lastly, red is gonna go on the left. And moment of truth, the coasters are red. It doesn't seem like anything else is happening. Red isn't usually good, is it? Do you think we did something wrong? Huh? What? No! <laughs> so the mother should be red and planet. Father should be white and island. And blue and ocean. Did I, did I mess these up? Let's take a look at our inventory real quick. Just to see what they have to say about the... So white and island and then blue and ocean. Okay. Let's check the memo again real quick. Mother, father, son. Let's check the archive, the memo real quick. A couple in the sun. The father sat in the center, while the mother on the left and the son on the right. When I came to take their order, they said the following. Hmm. Uh, I mean, we're we're sitting in the place that the three of them would have sat, so I think that's the order they should be in. However, just, I guess, for the sake of making sure we're not missing out on something relatively simple, um, let's try reversing the order if it's to be from, like, the bartender's perspective or something like that. Right? Because if... If the bartender is saying, oh, the sun sat on the left, etc., and it's from the bartender's perspective, which I don't think is, is how you would expect to interpret that, but if that is the case, um, we don't want to mess up that order. So then it would be sun, father, mother, so it would be blue, white, and red. So let's try that. I don't think this is going to do it, but we'll see. Maybe there's something else I'm overlooking. Now they're all changing blue. Good job. Oh, interesting. So I guess it was from the bartender's perspective. <laughs> They're all blue. Does that mean I got it right? I think so. Huh? Oh, look. Something happened on the screen. It's going to give us the blue password. Oh, I saw something like this before. <laughs> you too? Yes. There was one in your AB room? Yeah, I think so. It opened a safe back then. We should write this down somewhere. No, it's cool. I can remember it. <laughs> You're going to memorize it? Sure, no sweat. I've got a pretty good memory. Okay, so that's one of the passwords. I think um, it's been a while, but yeah, that's gonna be the hidden file password, not the escape password. So I guess we can actually go and just um, do that now, but it's very clear that we're gonna have to change the color to green, I think. So we'll, we'll take the glasses back because we're gonna have to change the, the drinks. Green sun has to be relevant at some point. My question is, where in the world is this last hemi-hemisphere? Right? We're only missing one. We haven't used the RLR, etc. Nor have we used the, the whole hemisphere deal. So, let's see if we can attach this for the time being. I don't think it's likely, but we'll see. No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. So we've got to find this last hemi hemisphere somewhere. Maybe it's the hidden. No, they wouldn't make it so that the hidden file password is necessary to get the escape password. <laughs> that would defeat the purpose of a hidden file password, right? I don't think they ever hide anything up on the ceiling because it's not like we can really interact with it much once it's there. Is there something behind these cushions? We looked under behind that one. Can we put it back? No? Alright, so we'll put it back and then we'll try the other one. Nothing? Okay. Um, where else could it be? I still feel like we have to do something with that drain. <laughs> Can we go behind the bar? Garbage goes here. I mean, it might just be telling us that if we mix a drink that we don't want anymore, we can, um, we can put it here. And I'm fairly, I, I'm actually fairly confident that's the case. But I also thought it might be used to unlock something. Can we check the bar stools? Looks like a stool. Yeah. It's gotta be something with these letters. But I don't really see what else we could do with them at the moment. 
Um, let's go to a separate page for now. And maybe we can write it down. R L R L. R L R L. And then O E D I. And then I M L I. It's kind of funny that we got the hidden file password before the escape one. <laughs> Alright, then O O N R and then O N E N. Okay. Um and then I should I probably should have just done this as I was going, but let's see here. So this L is red. Oops, that was not what I wanted. Switch to this to red. That's red. This O is red. This I is red. This I is red, this L, and this I, and then this O, this N, and then the N at the very end. Um. Hmm. I don't really know. I mean, if we write it out like this, it's L, L, O, I, there are three I's. I mean, I obviously see the lion written here. I mean, it's possible to make two lions out of all those letters. And then what do we have left? R, R, E, D, M, O, R, O, N, E. I mean, it's pretty nonsensical if you read the original thing backwards, so it's not like that's the case. Each of those individual groupings of four letters um, can't be rearranged into words because some of them don't have vowels. Uh, hmm. I'm not even sure, like, what information could we get from this that we could input elsewhere? Right? Like, what are the things we can interact with right now that could potentially give us a hemi-hemisphere? I'm just not seeing where that's going to be the case. I feel like we need to decipher this to get a second arrangement of, you know, glasses. So, I don't know. I mean, what colors do we have to choose from? We have red, blue, yellow, white, and green. I mean, I can see a red in here, right? <laughs> but then, even amongst the other things like island, planet, ocean, sun, moon. Okay, maybe moon, right? So I can see, like, red and then moon in here. <laughs> if there are, like, letters to be taken away. Would it be any duplicate letters? No, because then you would take away one of the O's as well. But if you get rid of this R, I can see red moon. I don't see any of the colors in here, though. Maybe, like, no, there aren't two L's. So it's not like yellow, it's not white, not red, not green, not blue. Uh, no, there are two L's. There are two L's. There are a bunch of L's. Let's see, if the one on the left is red moon, what does that tell us? It tells us there's one letter, R, that has three, and we can get rid of two of them. And so what I kind of see on the right hand side is if there are three, there's one letter that has, you know, uh, triple, we can get rid of two of those. So like get rid of two of the L's. On the left hand side, we also have E, which is duplicate, and we have, well, all of the ones that are single are used. For the M, the D, and the N. So which ones are used on the right? 
the ones that are definitely single. The only problem is none of them are single. There are two O's, there are three I's. Oh, that's another thing. Does that mean I have to get rid of two of the I's, potentially? If I do that, what would that leave me with? O-L-I-O-N-N? -N? Yeah, I mean, I don't think this is really... I don't think I'm getting it. I tried to see what could be a reasonable answer for the left-hand side and then use, well, how could I deduce that from the letters I'm given on the left, and can I apply that same logic to the right-hand side? But I'm not really seeing that. Because I don't even really see anything that I can make on the right-hand side. No colors that were given, and none of the alcohol that were given as well. Wasn't Red Moon one of the ones we actually had to make? No, that was just in the, the lying mother situation. Okay, okay. Um, let's see, what else? So, if this is going to give us combinations, um, there's no C, so it can't make ocean. There's no S, so it can't make island. There's no P, so it can't make planet. There's no U, so it can't make sun. So the only one that I could actually get from this would be moon. And then what colors could I actually get? I could get red. I can't get white because there's no W. I can't get green because there's no G. I can't get blue because there's no B. And I, um, I can't get yellow because there's no Y. So I don't think I'm even really interpreting the, uh, the proper... <laughs> in I'm trying to get the right information out of this code. This code must be telling me about some other type of information I can use elsewhere. I'm also trying to think, how is the green sun relevant? Right? That was something... Um, It's like, I don't know, how does the green sun come into play? Hmm. I don't know. Where does the green sun come into play? I'm not sure, guys. Hmm. And I'm not sure, I guess, let's look at our inventory, right? So, can we combine this with our remaining uh, hemisphere? Probably not. Yeah, we need. We definitely need another hemi-hemisphere. It's just a question of how do we get that. So I'm gonna, I'll probably think on this for a minute and see what we can find. Maybe, maybe I'll take these back in the meantime. <laughs> For the sake of having everything at our disposal. Oh my goodness, I see it! I see it on the shelf! <laughs> I can't even believe... There's our Southern Heavy Hemisphere, guys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there it was. It was just on the shelf waiting. That's hilarious. Probably frustrating for you guys. But hilarious, nonetheless. Alright, so we'll combine that. And then we'll combine that with our other thing to create a globe. Good work! You've made a globe! And if you look closely at it, I think it's actually transparent. Yes. So, now we're gonna probably put this on the thing here and it's gonna illuminate certain letters. That'll be important. Oh, I get it. The completed globe goes here. Yeah, just like this. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. So it says blue planet, so I'm gonna write, I'm gonna write this down. So the, the clock gives us, um, what is it, green sun? So we have green sun, and we have blue planet, and then this other one is probably gonna be red something else. I had to bet, oh, actually, I don't know. 
We'll see. Let's take a look at the letters now. So, probably Red Moon? The red letters say Lion, which is not incredibly surprising, and then the, the black letters say Red Moon. Okay, yeah. Sounds about right, especially given that our, uh, oops, I almost want to do this in, I gotta do this in red just for the aesthetic, guys. All the passwords and stuff thus far have been with suns and stars and moon, so, and then green, blue, and red, obviously, the, the primary colors of light, so. Cool, the question is gonna be what order. <laughs> I don't really know, but we can make the drinks and then work from there. Worst case scenario, there are only six of them, albeit I don't want to have to do that. So, we're going to use this one. It was blue planet? Yeah. Uh, here we go. So we'll put planet there. We also have to dump these other ones, so let's do that before I forget and confuse myself. There it goes. Well, now I have an empty glass again. Sounds about right. Alright, let's get rid of the blue ocean. I don't know what the order is gonna be. There's gotta there has to have been something that told me the order. But I don't really know. Hmm. Alright, well. Let's see here. We made blue planet. We gotta make red moon, so we can do that. Red, now let's get moon. I was really hoping it'd be red sun. It's probably a completely unintentional, but it's a little bit of a throwback to one of my favorite games of all time. <laughs> Mega Man Battle Network 4, red sun. Arguably one of one of the worst uh, Battle Network games, but still one of my favorites, near and dear. So then the next one was what? Green. Um, was it Green Sun? Yeah, it was Green Sun. Kind of sad we never got to use the yellow. <laughs> it's my favorite color, which also might be a surprise given the, the you know color aesthetic of Midnight Zero. Okay, so we've got green sun. Let's check just to be sure. Green sun, blue planet, and red moon. The real question is, do we know a specific order? Or, importantly, does the order even matter? Is it just gonna detect these particular three and then we're in the clear? We'll find out. Yeah, okay. So we could have, you know, one in six chance we got it right off the bat, but um, it probably just detects this combination. Huh? It's green this time. Yeah, it turned green when I put that drink on it. Oh, look at the screen. Huh? It changed. Now there are different shapes in different places. Well, it's probably related to the safe somehow. Can you remember this, Sigma? <laughs> Leave it to me. Lovely. So, let's head on over to the safe and get on out of here. This was a uh, not like too obtuse room or anything. It was, it was pretty fun to figure out. I like the logic puzzle. I always like those sorts of puzzles. So, it's a good time. Um, let's check our passwords real quick. We're gonna do the hidden file one. Sun, sun, and star. Oops, not intentional. <laughs> sun, sun, and then star. There's our hidden file. Awesome, it opened. Good job, Sigma. Hmm, well done. So we've got found a gold file, lovely. I wonder what's gonna be inside this safe. There's always some useful tool, right? Uh, so let's do this. Check our uh, archive again for the password. And we've got star, sun, and moon. Here we go. And that should do the trick. What are we gonna find, huh? I guess there's another password that can obey too. So it would seem. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Let's see. A map. Oh, that's right. First, we've got a map. It says floor A in the corner. Yeah, we can take a closer look at it later. There's still more stuff in here. Why don't you get the rest of it first? Right. Next, we've got a card. Two cards, actually. Right. It's gonna be fitting for the AB games. 
Do you think these could be the key cards for the AB rooms? See, it says Ambidex room right on them. Yeah, you're probably right. Now we can get into the AB rooms. And that means we can start getting more bracelet points. Once we've got nine, then we can open the number nine door and get out of here. At least that's what the rabbit said. Yeah, but how are we supposed to get back to the warehouse? That's where all the AB rooms are. We can go back the way we came, but that door is locked. I think the answer to that is in the safe. See, read this note. Here are a few more rules for you. Once you've opened a door, you can hop through it as much as you like. The chromatic doors are like that too. Once you open them, even I care to keep you from going in and out of them. Any color of a bracelet can go through them, and as many people as you like. But, but, you have to escape before you can take advantage of this free reign rule. Once you've activated a chromatic door and gone through it to the puzzle beyond, it won't let you go back until you've solved the puzzle. I see. So in other words, once we get out of here, we can go back to the warehouse. Right? Yeah, seems like it. So that means this key here is the last piece of the puzzle. Cool. So nothing too mind-blowing, just the extra rules. But, uh, you know, not like in the other ones where it's like, there's like the book on Schrodinger's cat and all that stuff. So we'll use the key here and we should be good to go. The thing that keeps the door locked. It says lock. You have the key we found in the safe, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm assuming you know how to unlock a lock. Anyway, there's something I want to talk to you about before we open that door. Oh really, more educational time with Fi? <laughs> well, what is it? Don't keep us in suspense. You should probably hear this too, Luna. I want to tell you about total lunar eclipses. Oh boy. During a total lunar eclipse, the moon is entirely covered by the Earth's shadow. That doesn't mean the moon just disappears or turns black, though. It actually reflects light that's passed through the Earth's atmosphere. But this makes it appear to be red. Essentially what's happening is that the moon is reflecting the sunset. So the moon looks red during a, during a lunar eclipse? That's actually really cool. Yeah, I think so. So uh, why are you telling us this? I just thought I should. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's probably going to be pertinent to like the at-large, large, uh, big, or big picture story going on with the game. But there was that magazine that didn't come into play a lot beyond just the time written on it. What kind of an answer is that? Anyway, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> Hurry up and open the door. So that information will clearly be pertinent later on. Uh, about, you know, the reflection of the light through the Earth's atmosphere, the red moon during a lunar eclipse and such, but we'll see. Come on, what are you waiting for? Get on with it! <laughs> Alright, fine. Time to get on with it, then. Yeah, it's not like we got all day, Sigma. Jeez. Family pounding around upstairs. <laughs> so loud. Another elevator, huh? You think it works? Dunno. Only one way to find out, though. We're gonna find out in the next episode. Major cliffhanger. Will the elevator work? Or is it broken? <laughs> nah, I gotta get going. My, my time to record is run out. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I, I like that puzzle section quite a bit. It wasn't as mathy as I liked, but as I tend to like. Um, but the logic puzzle was pretty cool. and. It was kind of silly looking for that last heavy atmosphere. Can't even believe it evaded me for so long when it was right in front of me. Classic, right? But anyways, I hope you guys are looking forward to the next one um, just as much as I am. But until the next episode, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.